Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. So today we're going to revise, okay, what you saw in the first form. Are you ready? Okay, so let's get the ball rolling. Let's start. You're going to put the bracketed words in the right tense or form. First of all, what's the difference between tense or form? As you know, tense, okay, or tenses usually in English are the present simple, the simple progressive, the present perfect, the simple past, the past progressive, the past perfect, and the future. What about the form? The form is just you're going to put the noun or adjective or adverb or comparative or superlative or to infinitive or conditionals, okay? So let's start. Pocket money is an important topic for many teenagers. Generally, parents to give their children pocket money to teach them about finance responsibility. Of course, the full sentence is given to you, the first sentence. And we start in the second sentence. When you start dealing with this uh, uh, exercise, now for you say bad you come, I make it kit deal, bish money had to exercise there. I will have a many push win can call generally parents to give. Unokadu money hand exu, madam had to ask a simple present, simple past. No. يزم تقرأ الجملة للأخ. ألغ ونشوفوا ذي زنديس أرسو. ما تشنو هو اللي خليني نحط الفيرب في التان كي كونفيان وإلا نحط الكلمة في الرايت فون. أوكي؟ ألغ generally parents to give their children pocket money to teach them about finance responsibility. First of all عندي generally. So generally أتهن أحكيو in general. So, parents to give the children pocket money. So, normally here we use the simple present because we have generally, we talk about general uh, thing, okay? So, here parents give the children pocket money to teach them about what are you going to put with finance here? Are you going to put the verb in the right tense or you're going to provide the right form? Of course, here you're going to put the right form. Responsibility is a noun. So we are going to describe this responsibility. So we need an adjective. So here, um, parent, generally parents give their children pocket money to teach them about financial responsibility. Some teenagers use their pocket money wise, while others tend to spend it as soon as they receive it. So, some teenagers, how do some teenagers use their pocket money? Some teenagers use their pocket money how? Wisely. So, here we need an adverb. Wise, and you add L-Y, which is the suffix of the adverb. So this word here is an adverb. And you know that the rule of adverb for regular adverb, because we have exceptions, adjective plus ly, plus ly. For example, rapid, rapidly, slow, Slowly. Mm -hmm. Let's continue. Some teenagers use their pocket money wisely while others tend to spend it as soon as they receive it. I learned to manage pocket money better over the years. In this sentence, you have a clue. In this sentence, you have something that shows you in which tense are you going you are going to put the verb, sorry. So what's the word or the expressions? It is over the years. 
when you have over the years, in which tense are you going to put the verb? Of course, in the present perfect. What's the form of the present perfect? It is has or have plus past participle. So we're going, okay, to revise later on the present perfect. So what about learn? What's the past participle of learn? It is learned. So I have learned. to manage my pocket money better over the years. When I was younger, I spent all my, my pocket money on sweets and toys. But now I try to save more of it. So here he talked about something that happened when he was younger. So we talk about the past. When I was younger, I, yes, spent. Or here we can say here I used to spend because it's a habit in the past. So the simple past of spend is spent. It is irregular. I spent all my pocket money on sweets and toys. But now, but now, yes, I'm trying. I'm trying because we have now. So we need the present progressive. But now I am trying to save more of it. Last year, I set a goal to save enough money to buy a new phone. So what's the clue in the sentence? Very good. It is last year. In which tense am I going to put the verb in the simple past? So put the verb to set. We say to set a goal, which means to, um, uh, to, uh, uh, that means to try, okay, to have a name or a purpose in your life to set a goal we say to set a goal okay donc the simple past of to set is set do benefit regular verbs to set and to set a table to set a clock to a simple past set will past participle set ما تعملوش الكونفيزيون مع لو فيرب تو سيت اللي هو لو فيرب سسوار simple past of to sit is sat and the past participle of course is sat so i set a goal to save enough money to buy a new phone it take me several months but i finally managed to save the necessary amount so here in which tense are you going to put take and manage of course um, in the simple past, why? Because he talked about he talked about what happened last year. So he said that last year I set a goal to save enough money to buy a new phone. It took me. Be careful! It is a regular verb. We don't say take it. It took me several months, but I finally managed it. <coughs> Sorry. Manage it to save the necessary amount. Since then, donc lehne, anna and this. Since then, shneye then. Then lehne, wudu belkum, ehi shlinke, nta arabit. Then, nuqsdu beha at that time. At that time. Voilà. Ma temak al wakt ha deka. Walit mo careful. So, since then, lehne, of course, we use the present perfect. Become, is it regular or irregular? It is irregular. So, I have become. I have become. Be. More careful with law, with how I spend my money. Nowadays, don't anna nowadays. Okay, I make sure to save at the less a portion of pocket money, of pocket money every week, so that I can afford something special in the future. So here we have a form. What's this form? It is at least. It is the superlative form of less, so that I can afford something special in the future. I believe that learning to manage pocket money well. Help young people develop good habits for the future. So I believe that learning man uh, to le how to manage pocket money well in the future. So will help. So we have to put the verb in the future. Will help. Okay. 